Hey guys, it's McGillan here, and today we're doing a story time video of a kid who smoked a laced cart in school. And this is a really fucked up story, guys. Don't do this. Listen, don't take carts from people that you don't know, and don't buy black market carts, dude. Like, they're just, don't, like, they're fucked. I don't think any of them are real. You're smoking hot dog water if you are. Just don't do it, okay? Um... But anyway, I'm a, this is my freshman year of high school, and I'm just going to tell the story from my perspective. Uh, so let's just, let's just get right into it. So I finished my first period class of the day, which was English, and I go to the bathroom. And just like usual, my school is pretty fucked up. Uh, so I go to the bathroom, and I already know what I'm about to see. Kids in a circle, vaping or smoking or doing something, alright? So I already knew it was about to go down, because that's just our school, every bathroom is just fucked okay there's just so it's just so much shit there's always at least one person in a bathroom vaping uh it's just how it is i don't know but uh yeah so i go to the bathroom uh i, I kind of just go there to talk to my friends i don't really go there for any specific reason uh, i just want to see my friends just relax for a little bit so i was kind of in the wrong too because i wasn't even fucking using the bathroom but <laughs> whatever um so I realized I see this kid from my Spanish class there. And this kid was a low-profile kid. We're calling him Timmy. And Timmy was honestly a nice kid. Uh, he, there, there was nothing wrong with him. He was just a, he was, he was quiet. Um, I didn't really talk to him that much. We talked a few times prior to this, but not much. Uh, he kind of thought I was funny because I used to be a, a total dickhead in Spanish. Because fuck Spanish, by the way. Just kidding. Don't fuck Spanish. Try hard in every single one of your school subjects. Uh, <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, so I see him, and, and we're, we're chatting it up, and then I realize he's about to go in the stall. And listen, man, if he's about to go in the stall, that means he's probably about to smoke a cart or do some shit like that. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I go back to talk to my friends, and then two minutes pass by, and the kid basically just gets out of the stall. And he, he looks fine, but he looks kind of weird. He looks a little off. He looked a little too fucked up to me, but I, I, I dismissed it. I was like, okay, maybe he just got too high. Maybe it was a good cart. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so the bell rings for us, like the late bell rings for us to go to second cl uh, the second period class, which was, which was the second class of the day. Uh, so I walk back to Spanish with this kid because he's in my Spanish class. And uh, he sits down, and I realize when I'm walking with him, this kid couldn't walk or keep his eyes open. Like, he looked like he was tweaking. Like, he did not look okay at all. And it was it was bad. I didn't really know what to do. Like, I, I, I asked him. I was like, yo, bro, are you good? And he was like, yeah, I'm just too high. Like, it's like, nah, bro. Like, he wants some other shit. And I think he knew it as soon as he hit it. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, basically, we get to Spanish. And she's like, where were you? And I was like, oh, I was taking a shit, you know? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I was just like, we're in the, uh, we were in the bathroom. Uh, there's a line. That's normally what we say when you're late. But, uh, yeah, she's like, okay, sit down. And she immediately realizes that this kid can't fucking walk, okay? And the realize, the way I realized that she realized that he couldn't walk or, or like, function was because the look that she gave him when he could not get in the fucking door. Like, <laughs> He was stumbling, it was bad, he was stumbling and shit, and she was like, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I'm just tired, and he put his head down, and she did not bother him for the rest of the, I'd say, f eh, 10 minutes that he was actually in that class, like, she did not bother him, she didn't, she wanted no part of what the fuck was going on, which I don't blame her, and, uh, yeah, so he puts his head down on his desk, and I sit right behind this kid. And I, I tap on him, like, yo, bro, you're good. And he does not move or say anything or do anything. But I thought that was normal because that happened to my friends before when they just they just slump on their desk and they're heavy sleepers. So I was like, oh, maybe he just fell asleep. He'll sleep it off. He'll be good. But no, this kid falls out of his desk probably 10 minutes from getting into, the, probably like 10 minutes after he puts, puts his head down. And he just falls out of his desk and he does not move. Like his eyes are like, I don't know how to describe it, but they were, like, half open, half shut, like, but you could just tell he was not there, like, he, his consciousness was just in a whole nother, a whole nother place, and, uh, he couldn't move, like, he didn't get up off the ground, and it was, it's pretty fucked up, like, 
And I didn't really know what to do, because I sat right behind him, and he just falls out of his desk. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And everyone gets freaked out. The, the Spanish teacher's like, what the hell? And uh, they wait for him to get up. You know, they shake him a little bit. They don't really know what to do. So uh, then the Spanish teacher calls the nurse, and he's just not getting up, and he's not moving. I thought he could have died. I don't know. I got... I. It, it's a scary experience, like, seeing that shit, because it's, it could happen, it could happen to you, man, don't take cards from other people, or, like, or only take them from people you trust, and that wouldn't fucking fuck you over like this, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, he doesn't move for, like, a, a solid two minutes, and then they get the nurse in there, and the nurse has a fucking wheelchair, <laughs> and, <laughs> and some ice cubes, and she's just rubbing ice cubes on his head. And we're all sitting there like, what the fuck just happened? This man is just not waking up. And as as long as she's like, she's trying to like bring him back a little bit. She's like talking in a soft voice, rubbing this ice cube on his head. But yeah, no, he was out of it. And because of that, they had to call an ambulance. And the ambulance eventually came, picked him up, and got him. And apparently when he was going into the ambulance, he was brought back to a little bit of consciousness is what I heard. Uh, but, yeah, so he had to go to the hospital, which is fucked up, and, uh, yeah, after that, when he gets out of the hospital, I decided to hit him up a little bit, I'd be like, yo, bro, you good? Because that's a scary situation, and it sucked that he had to go through that, and he was like, yeah, I just think there was something, no, he didn't say I think, he was like, yeah, there was just something fucked up about that cart, and I was like, yeah, I figured, dumbass. <laughs> I did call him a dumbass, I'm not gonna lie, because guys bust each other's balls, you know? But, uh, yeah, but thankfully he ended up being okay, which is good. Uh, not, I don't think anything was too detrimental to his health or anything, just scary experience is all it was, and yeah, I also have multiple other stories just like this of people, like, smoking fucking blunts in the bathroom and me trying to not, like... I don't know, this kid smoked a blunt in the bathroom, and I had a cover for him, like, it was, it was fucked up, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, so the kid did end up being fine, thankfully, so, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this story time, and, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.